me! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. More Serena Beach horribleness. And this gets even worse. This is the secret of Cas Casino Delfino. Yeah, a little rhyming pun there. Uh, once again, we gotta walk ourselves over to the hotel manually. Yeah, why don't they just put us in the hotel to begin with and just make us leave this beach right away so we don't have to look at its beauty ahead of time then because you know we have to leave it that makes me sad talk to the owner guy and yeah let's go in so now the casino is open where is the casino it's over here in this neat glass effect window here a thingy here and uh, talk to this pink pi pianta here and he'll be like ah oh, right this way and he'll take you inside the casino and this is the casino it looks pretty innocent, right? And uh, by the way, this is the music that, that plays when you uh, play mini games in Super Mario 64 DS, or I should say, some mini games. Anyway, you'll see there's sl a slot machine over here. What you want to do is do this until you get three sevens, and it's 100% randomized. Yes! Okay, I'll see you when I get the all three sevens. Oh yeah, booze make an enemy appear, which I recommend that you kill off. But booze don't give you any uh, points, though. Um, later on, I should, I should mention that uh, this is probably the easiest one to get uh, 100 coins in later for the simple fact that the other slot machine you can control more of what you're doing and you can aim for getting three coins each time so in other words you can get an unlimited amount of coins from this one anyway let's cut ahead now wait we got something we got something finally now after that one's done this one you're gonna have to do this one. Yeah, it's another slot machine. What do you have to say about this situation, Mr. Tourist? And the, yeah, it's water-powered slots. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, and by the way, if you look at the ceiling, you've got this shine sprite pattern. I forgot to show that off. Okay, this one you have more control over. You can do each of these individually, and you can literally aim for sevens just like that. So let's just kind of go for no. Oh, come on! This is what makes these slots so annoying, too, is the fact that you can keep nicking the same one, you know, over and over and lose your, you know, the seven that you got. Ugh. This is horrendous design, Nintendo. Oh, great, great, I have the middle one. I'm almost inevitably gonna get... Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna hit one of those two, aren't I? One of these tries. Still no. Come on. Come on. Oh. My. Arceus. Thank you. Guess what? Now you've got 16 flip panels! Remember those four boo panels that I had a little trouble getting way back inside the hotel? Not this part of the hotel, the other one when I was with Yoshi. Yeah, you have to flip these all over to make a shine sprite picture. Start from the top and work your way down. That's the best way that I can tell you how to do this one. Because you can just kind of like do little flicks of the R button to spray water and try not to hit the other panels. Ooh, that was a lucky one there. And this is... This is going a lot better than I expected, I have to say. So far. <laughs> Give it time, I'm sure. Yep, it's going to screw up on me. <sighs> Hey, wait, we got something. Oh, last three at the bottom there. Come on, little nicks, little nicks. Oh, I had that one. I had that panel. Dang it, dang it. There we go. One more. Corner. Move it over. No. Jesus! Thank you! Yes! Yes! We're gonna have to do this one more time later. Dang it! Yeah, there's a secret shine in down this pipe. You're gonna lose your flood. You're gonna lose your flood. 
But at least we don't have to do the godforsaken panels. This one isn't that bad though, so don't worry. After those panels, thank God, just work your way over to the center here and jump onto this block. Uh, you gotta time yourself so that you don't get pushed off the edge, of course. So that's whoa, whoa! I jumped away way too early there, and there's a one up over there. I wonder if that's a good idea to get. I probably could get that. Yeah, I thought so. Wait, wait, let me get the. Thank you. And now I can go over to here, and there's a flipping block over there. That's gonna cause a little trouble with timing, isn't it? Go, 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 go! Turn the camera sideways so you can tell where you're at, and jump on over to these blocks. Uh, these blocks are one of those that's what she said kind of moments. I mean, they're kind of going in and out inside some holes, and yeah, you get the idea. Let's just leave it at that. So let's move over to here, and you got these more of these spinning Lincoln Log-like things here. So let's move over here carefully. Ignore that one up. It is so totally not worth it. And you've got this ginormous block, which is really hard to stay on because it's kind of it kind of throws you off with the perspective of its movement because it's so massive and it's hard to tell which side is up, but I did it successfully, and there's the shine! Woo! Thank God. Yahoo! The next shine is episode 5, King Boo Down Below. And once again, we have to walk to the place we're going to from the start, from outside, I don't know why, but whatever. I guess they always start you at the same place no matter what, on any stage regardless. But I don't know, it just seems like it's a hassle, you know, to have to talk to this guy over and over again, you know, because you have to talk to this guy before you can get in this place, and yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, you gotta go back to the casino, which he doesn't lead you to either. So then you gotta talk to this guy over for... Yes. So then you're gonna see on the roulette wheel here, there's a pink, pinkish purple like uh, panel here. There's only one ground pound it. This is an elevator, it takes you down to the basement area of the casino. And this is where you'll find King Boo. Ground Pound these uh, purple, green, pinkish purple panels here, by the way, to stop these wheels from moving. Um, what you want him to do is start up that slot machine, which you can get him to do by spraying him with water. And uh, what you want him to hit, and this is completely luck based, is. Um, I thought those give me water, actually. I thought these things give me water, really. I did. Oh, there we go. You have to spray them first, then they give you bottled water. Okay. Now, get, get him to do that slot machine again, and wait for him to spray for fruit. You have to get him to get fruits. And, uh, whenever there's a bunch of question marks, a bunch of enemies will appear, and that kind of sucks. And, yeah, you gotta kind of kill them off like that, and you can spray them again. Let me kill off the piggies. Thank you. Give me. There we go. And now he's gonna do his thing again. And bring up a slot machine again. You gotta spray him. Yeah, all these things do different things. The, the question marks with the. Oh, there we go. Sherbot! And he'll give you a bunch of fruit. Now take a pepper. No, not, not that. A pepper, thank you. And throw it into his mouth. And he hates the spicy things. So what you want to do is grab another fruit and toss it back at him, and that's how you hit him. Or you can kick a durian at him like that, or something like that. You have to do that three times until he's dead. Well, as much as you can kill a ghost. Come on, do your slot machine thing. And we got Jack Squat! Uh, okay, we got a bunch of enemies, but that doesn't really count as much. And these are really annoying enemies, too. Since you can't kill the Cataquacks anyway, you pretty much have to wait for them to disappear on their own, so yeah, you gotta wait this out. This, because of that slot machine aspect, this boss is needlessly long, needlessly luck-based, and needlessly annoying. This is what I mean, again, about Serena Beach being incredibly annoying. <sighs> so here we go. Come on! Get the pineapples, not the coins! 
I'm actually at something else. I'm gonna get a cornucopia of something else of the water bubbles and then fill my poop. Well, it's not so much poop as it is pee that I fill it with. That's why he detests it so much and... Yeah, never mind, never mind. I'll just end it right there. So, fruit! Yes! Yes! Where's the pepper? Where's the pepper? There should be like two peppers, actually. Yes, there's a pepper. And eat the pepper. And also, have another fruit. Oh, I missed. Come on, there we go. That's why you should ground pound these panels first, but you don't have to. Because it stops those wheels and makes it easier to aim. And as he takes more and more damage, these panels flip around faster and faster. And... Hey. There we go. What was I spraying there, anyway? What am I... What? What am I spraying over here? Look at this! I'm spraying in midair. What am I, hitting his tongue or something like that? I, I don't know what the heck I was spraying. By the way, where is this place, anyway, in the casino? It doesn't... Is there a really a place in a casino that has walls like this that are light up like this for no absolute purpose and absolutely no gain down here? I mean, who could stand down here without taking, you know, getting dizzy from staying on these panels for too long? And then, yeah, I'm still waiting for these guys to stop wandering around. Come on, spin away. Give me fruit. No! For the love of Arceus! We got some flopping fish here for whatever reason, and since it can't go on dry land, they're just squishable like that easily. And those fire guys chase you. I guess I could kill them off, that would make things go faster. I couldn't do anything about those cataphracts earlier. Come on, spin! Thank you. It's fruit, fruit, fruit! Yes! Finally! The end of this boss battle is at hand! Gimme! Pepper! Pepper! Thank you! Eat the pepper! And eat the pineapple. Yeah! Oh, and it's also said that this guy isn't King Boo. Look that up on a Mar on the Mario Wiki one of these days. I forgot what they said he might be, but he might not actually be King Boo. Just saying. He he's some different kind of boo. They call him King Boo, but he just might not be King Boo. Anyway, grab the shine and get out of here. Next shine! Scrubbing Serena Beach, episode 6. This one goes by pretty quickly and it's also pretty easy to do as well. See that guy there? He's not doing a very good job of scrubbing Serena Beach. So we've got to do something about this. As soon as we start here, you're gonna be, he's going to be like, Mario, we've got trouble and I need your help once again because I'm a poor hotel owner. Anyway, there is some buckets full of water which you can throw and spray up a load of poop at once. It sprays off in an even pattern so you can get a pretty large area done at once. Anyway, what you have to do is spray off as much of this beach as you possibly can within three minutes. As a matter of fact, you have to spray off enough of this beach, or spray off the group enough, to stop the timer altogether. So we've got to get as, you know, this done as fast as we possibly can. This isn't very hard to do whatsoever. You just have to keep going in a pattern and keep cleaning it as you go. You don't have to get all the goop, you just have to get enough of the goop. Like, you have to get a certain area. Like, you can leave a little bit left over in certain spots, like maybe that little bit there or something like that. So, don't worry about being absolutely perfect. That would be way, way unconsiderate for the, or I should say inconsiderate, excuse me, of Nintendo to do that, you know, for you to have to scrub every single little droplet off the beach, and there's a blue coin which I'm not going to get. Yeah, you get a blue coin for spraying that sign of all things. <sighs> Places they hide those stupid blue coins. I guess that makes sense to put one there because you'll accidentally spray it the sign like I just did there to collect them. But, as I said, I'm doing those in their own episode, and yeah, so I'm not going to collect that right now. Okay, we just keep spraying in a nice, even pattern, and just take one area at a time. Don't go too fast, don't go too slow, and you should be done before you know it. And that blue point is not disappearing. Wow. I thought they disappear after a while in most cases. Maybe it was just that one in Rico Harbor that was just there to annoy you. By the way, if you clean off these two kid nokies over here, You'll also get two blue coins, which I'll cover later, as I said in the blue coin video. And we're almost done here, thank god. 
this is a very, very monotonous and repetitive mission here. And oh, that was enough, I guess. So we don't have to clean that much over there. Don't have to clean those little spots. Talk to the guy. Yeah, that was great. And yeah, I did it pretty easily. There's almost a minute left over. That's a lot of time to get you, uh, I mean, a lot of time for you to clean that goop off, as you can see. So grab your shine sprite, and I'm done with this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Hopefully it'll get better.